Hi friends, episode 6 of my frugal habits that save money. Yes, I cut my hair. Yes, I cut it by myself and it only took me 5 minutes. Alright, let's begin. Number 1 is pay off debt. Debt is a very expensive thing to have because interest is so high and also it really holds you back from, bu from uh, building up your financials, your investments and all that. So. Uh, pay off your debt and uh, if you have cash in your bank maybe pay off because you know cash in the bank is not making much interest and if you don't and uh, go hustle around to make some more and uh, yeah I have an episode uh, talking about the side hustles I do and that everyone can do so yeah check it out all right number two is review all statements we have bank statements we have credit card um, Amazon you know uh, you have your account and utility bills and all that and check them all make sure there is no you know funny business going on no one is stealing your credit card and using it for things that uh, you know yeah and uh, f you know if you find it quicker it's much easier to fix right okay number three is a staycation instead of instead of vacation vacation can be expensive especially for family of four or five uh, all the flat tickets, all the hotels, Airbnbs, and all the meals for everyone and think about that. So staycation, take a few days off, just stay around the town, maybe going camping. I, I consider camping as a kind of a staycation because it's just, it's just so cheap but so fun and there are so many things to do. And um, even better, do the house sitting for pets on Rover. Uh, we I got a booking in March right after we came back from Hawaii uh, to house sit um, in Palo Alto for two dogs. Uh, I denied because we were kind of tired and coming back from Hawaii and we also need to catch up with work. So, but next time if it's in a better situation, I would totally book it and uh, yeah, go stay in someone's house in Palo Alto and sit their dogs and work work in their house but you can still also you know do things around that area or maybe check out the restaurants and go for hikes or biking and things like that all right number four is bring lunch to work um if you don't have free lunch at work bring the leftovers from the night before or make your own sandwiches because a sandwich outside could cost like maybe 10 to 15 dollars depends and uh, make a sandwich at home maybe it's like one dollar right that's like how much 90 percent saving on there all right number five is to evaluate your your cell phone plan again because are you still paying a hundred dollars or even 120 for verizon because there are so many options out there that are much cheaper and for example like google five i think it's 35 dollars a month with unlimited data and there are so many countless of uh, new different companies and something coming out all the time so check it out number seven is try store brand uh, this one's easy i have it here so for example if you go to safeway and you try to buy some uh, stevia there are many different brands and this one is a costco store brand is uh, called organics and usually the store brands are much cheaper than other brands and every time you know you buy a few of those things you save some money and then it accumulates over the year over you know lifetime you're going to save a lot and this one is by trader joe's uh, this is nutritional yeast is a very good substitute for cheese and um, i also use it like on my soup as croutons i love the taste of it it has very good nutritional value and uh, you know it's not dairy so you know you're not uh, eating all, all these gross hormones and all this stuff all right number six is fix your fomo fomo is fear of missing out yeah that's right so try to fix it instead of just joining to do something that you're not really interested in but you you're just worried about missing out try to think about it like why you have that feeling and why you have the need for that read books about it there are audiobooks so maybe articles online and try to fix it because you want to spend money on things that you're actually interested in and that adds value to your life instead of FOMO. All right, number eight is invest your bonuses. I know bonuses is actually just part of your pay, 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 
yeah, part of your pay, right? So I think a lot of people has this mentality when they receive bonuses, they just go out like spend it all on vacation or buy an expensive piece of jewelry. But it's just part of your pay, so why not invest it and save it for emergency or something like that? All right, number nine is state law maintenance. Um, I know uh, for me, I'm a very law maintenance person because I cut my own hair, I dye it if I want to by myself. Uh, I don't put a lot of stuff on my skin so I don't damage it, which means I will spend less money to repair damages. Um, I don't wear um, nail polishes, I only did on my wedding day. And um, yeah, I mean, I buy my clothes from Goodwill and uh, what else? Just stay low maintenance, but uh, focus on health, focus on you know, inner beauty, focus on engaging and, um, you know, contribute to the community instead of uh, things that are just uh, superficial or things that uh, only make makes us, things that only make us happy temporarily. Number 10 is stay healthy. Stay healthy is would save a lot of money over a lifetime. According to this article by CNBC, 67% of the bankruptcies in America are uh, due to medical bills or medical issues. And to stay healthy means stay physically healthy, mentally healthy, uh, that means exercise, uh, you know, keep stress out of uh, your life and uh, fix your sleep, um, you know, keep your mental health check and all that. Yeah, stay healthy can be a lifetime goal. Mm -hmm. If we don't spend a lot of time, money and effort on illness, that means we have all that capacity to stay on wellness and healthy and enjoy life. Those are my 10 frugal habits. Again, uh, thank you very much for watching and please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I really appreciate you watching this and I'll see you next time. Bye!